Hi, hello. Welcome to Turning Point. This is an another session on Maghra of Sections. Here I have taken one more problem. ABC is an equilateral triangle. So force P is applied at point E. P is a horizontal force. We are supposed to calculate number C. As it is mentioned, ABC is an equilateral triangle. Around each corner, the angle is going to be 60 degrees. Here the angle is 60 degrees. Here the angle is 60 degrees. And here the angle is 60 degrees. So we need to solve this one by method of sections and we are supposed to calculate only the axial force in the member CD. So in method of sections what I need to do is I need to consider a section line that should intersect only three members. I am considering section line. So when I consider section line, so if I consider horizontal section line what will happen? So then after considering section line, so I need to remove one part. Suppose if I remove the upper part, so what will happen? Each and along each and every member, I need to represent axial force. So all the forces are passing through common point C. So when I consider C as moment center, so there I will eliminate all the forces. So that is not required. For that reason, I won't take horizontal uh, section line. For that reason, I am taking an inclined section line like this. So now I am going to eliminate the left hand side portion. So that means I am going to remove it. I am going to represent it by means of a dotted line here. What are maybe the member cut by section line? Along each and every member there will be an axial force. Along this member there will be an axial force. Along this member there will be an axial force. Along this member there will be an axial force. We are supposed to calculate tension in the member CD. So I will consider that one as TCD. And consider this one as TCE. And this is TDA. So these are the tensile forces. Uh, when we cut the uh, given truss by means of an inclined section like this. Here, I want to find only the axial force in the member TCD. Okay. I would like to eliminate TCE and TDA. There I need to select a moment center such that these two are commonly passing through that. So if I observe, so TCE is like this. TDA is like this. Both are having B as a common point. So then I will consider B as moment center. So therefore the equation is going to be sigma mb is equal to 0. The algebraic sum of moments about moment center B equal to 0. So here when I consider B as moment center, I can eliminate TDA and I can eliminate TCE. So what are the remaining forces mean TCD and T only. Two forces are there. So when I consider this one TCD, so TCD into perpendicular distance. So how to find perpendicular distance? Draw a line passing through moment center parallel to consider force. Then you can find perpendicular distance. That is given as 1.5 meters in the question. So 1.5 meters. Moment center is on right hand side. Force application is on left hand side. When I apply force, uh, the object will rotate in clockwise direction so need to value and next for, for the remaining force B I need to find the perpendicular distance so how to find perpendicular distance means draw a line passing through moment center parallel to consider force then this one is going to be the perpendicular distance so that is not given we need to find that suppose if you drop a vertical line here so this is in the form of a triangle so B E F is in the form of a triangle This is B, this is E, F. This is 1.5 meters given that is 1.5 meters and this is 60 degrees. So I would like to find uh, EF value. So EF is opposite side. Uh, uh, I know hypotenuse. So I know angle. So for that reason I am taking a sin 60. So sin 60 is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. Opposite side is EF. Hypotenuse is 1.5 meters. From that, EF is equal to 1.5 sin 60. So for the force P, the perpendicular distance is going to be 1.5 sin 60. So P into 1.5 sin 60. 
So B is inclined one, so which is like this. Point B is fixed. I am applying a horizontal force in this direction. Then it is going to rotate in clockwise direction. Minus B into one point five sine sixty equal to zero. From that, P C D into one point five is equal to minus P into one point five sine sixty. One point five, one point five going to be cancelled. From that, P C D is equal to one point. PCD is equal to minus P sin 60. This is the axial force in the member CD. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe. Thank you all.